Steve Smith is in with me this morning. Smith's Garden Town here in Wichita Falls. And Steve, I almost want to say, if you have a question about your yard, garden, or landscape, <laughs> give us a call right now. But I'm not going to do that. Everybody just panic. Don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, but I'll tell you, this uh, this product that you're talking about, Hydratane, is really pretty amazing based on the research we've seen so far. Yeah, and I would uh, I would encourage people to go to their website, Hydratane.com, and look at some of the research that they have on there, some of the photographs, some of the videos. Uh, it was used down on the... Uh, golf course at uh, the University of Texas and they've interviewed the golf course uh, superintendent down there talking about uh, how they've been able to reduce their uh, watering in uh, in that golf course and that's where it was originally uh, used was in golf courses it's just uh, recently been made available to homeowners certainly one of the biggest expenses of a golf course is water exactly and uh, mm -hmm. and now the homeowners here in Wichita Falls when Brian says we're over 40 inches behind we're 15 yeah. percent of what we normally Normally ought to be right now this time of year uh, for 2014. We're in trouble. There's no way around it. We saw the extreme drought the monitor that he showed just a few moments ago. We're in trouble. We got to do everything we can. Well, to try to come out of this. We sure do. And you know anything that we can do to help our plants weather this storm until we do get into a, a time when we're getting some more rainfall. Of course, we've got a good uh, forecast for this weekend. But uh, you know any time that uh, there's humidity. In the air, this will help to extract that humidity and transfer it to the roots of the plant. That is very, very important. We got some pictures here of some examples of uh, Bermuda grass here in Texas that uh, that is available. Let's see if it's they have lost that. Let me try again. No, it's still up and going. There you go. Perfect. You can see on the left there the uh, the treatment is every seven days after treatment. We got one, two, three, four different photographs. So you can see there here in Texas the Bermuda grass especially responds well to that. Uh, also pot plants. A lot of folks uh, like to have out on our patio. We like to have good uh, pot plants, potted plants as well. Shouldn't say pot plants, potted plants. <laughs> <clears throat> Some of the crew here just went nuts. Uh, we, uh, but you can see the difference there between treated and untreated, and that's just a week without water. So, uh, what about Smiths? Will you have plants available at all this this summer? Yes, uh, we we are growing uh, our, our normal mix of plants with uh, a lot more of the more drought tolerant plants. Yeah. Uh, we're just not growing as many, you know, instead of growing a thousand of this, we might be growing 200 or something like sure. that. But, but we still will have a mix of the plants because, there, you know, there are people that are not under the extreme watering restrictions that we're under here in Wichita Falls. Some of the outlying uh, communities are able to water a little bit more. Sure. Uh, and some people do have wells now. And that's, we don't realize many times here in Wichita Falls, our, our vendors and businesses here, we cover a pretty wide area. We've got a 50 mile radius of at least that folks come into. Probably at least half of your receipts come from outside the city limits. That's exactly right. And, uh, you know, we've got lots of uh, customers in Graham and, and, and Bowie and, mm -hmm. and Vernon and uh, up into Oklahoma as well. So. And it's important to buy locally grown plants in the plant business. That's, that's critical that you get them acclimated to our part of the world. That's right. They haven't been shipped in. They haven't been on a truck for days and days. And so they're they're, they're fresh. They're fresh. Now this is this product, this hydrotain, what about from an ecological standpoint? Is it a problem as far as the environment is concerned? No, it's totally biodegradable. Uh, as a matter of fact, their instructions say it needs to be used every 90 days because it does biodegrade uh, and it's kids safe, pet safe. Uh, it's, it's completely uh, safe for, for all You audiences. brought in the liquid version of it here, right. but uh, I understand they've introduced granular as well. Right, it does come in the granules and uh, as we said, for those folks who aren't able to take the liquid and water it in, then you can get the granules and have them on hand and uh, put them out with a fertilizer spreader just like you would a, a fertilizer and uh, then when it rains it'll water it in for you. Is it fertilizer? No, no it's not a fertilizer but it does help the root system of the plant so that the plant's able to take up fertilizer better. Okay, well very very good. Well this is a great product. One of those things that, you know, when you're in extreme conditions you start doing things that you wouldn't normally do. That's and right. this is an example of that right here. That's exactly right, and uh, as I said, you know, I've done some research on it, and they have uh, had it tested by several universities, uh, University of Florida and uh, Cornell, 
and they have shown that it does work. One quick final question. Sir. How much is it? Is it very expensive? It's not expensive at all. The quart bottle here sells for about $35, and that will cover up to 3,500 square feet of lawn area. It also has the rate on the back if you're using it just on your trees. If you, you know, let your lawn go and you want to concentrate on trees and shrubs, then it's got the rate on the back for those also. All right, very good. Well, Steve, thanks so much for Thank you, coming Mike. out and joining us this morning. We're going to take a little bit of a break. We'll come back. Greg has a look at headlines. Brian will tell us about the weather. And uh, Tyler Ross will be here with Gavilon Grain to talk about the markets right here on Texoma Country Morning.